Hello everybody and welcome to our Squarespace vs Wix review, where I will do my best to compare these two well-known website builders and say which one is better where. I can already say that I have made video reviews on both of them and they are both great website builders and have their flaws. However, one can be better than the other in some perspectives and the same goes for the opposite. So I will do my best to compare these two and put everything into perspective. So I will speak about the features and functionality of both website builders, discuss how they work and if they're easy to use. I will speak about the templates, if they're any good, which website builder is better for e-commerce and I will speak all about the pricing. In fact, if you're interested to get one of these website builders, I have special links in the description that gives you an additional discount if you decide to make a purchase. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, straight from the beginning, I can say that either Squarespace or Wix is going to be better for a specific type of website. Can't say that it's going to be bad either, but simply said, it is going to be better in some way than the other. So, Wix is a really simple website builder as it has drag and drop functionality, which makes things much easier as Squarespace at the same time doesn't have this feature and might be a little limiting as everything here is added by more or less adding extra sections to your website. So, if you want to add a button, for example, you just drag it anywhere on your website using Wix and that's pretty much it. However, Squarespace might limit you here as it doesn't have this functionality, but in my personal opinion, it's not bad as what really matters is that your website does look clean and neat, right? So Squarespace will not allow you to create a mess out of your website, which I personally like. On the other hand, you can definitely customize much more with Wix as it gives you more freedom and flexibility to add various buttons, images, videos or whatever you prefer anywhere you like. On the other side, if you would be looking for a way to restructure your Squarespace template, you will be in a situation where you will have to again add separate sections. So in that sense, Wix will have the freedom and editing flexibility, as for Squarespace, you will have less of that, but you will have your website structured and it will be pretty much, much simpler to edit it. Now, I don't want to say that Squarespace is worse in this situation, as it does actually have lots of functions and it's a powerful website building tool, but Wix seems to be a little more flexible here. But speaking about the templates, I'm pretty fascinated with Squarespace's templates as they're all by the way designer made and they're really really good looking. Wix on the other hand doesn't have that many beautiful templates and they're not, well it's my personal insight, they're not that attractive. They're pretty simplistic and Squarespace wins here by a lot. By the way, a cool thing to mention about both of these website builders is that they both offer free trials. So if you decide that you want to try one of these website builders or both of these website builders out, you can get a free trial. Links are in the description down below, so you can grab these trials right now. There's one difference where Wix allows you to have a free website published and Squarespace doesn't, which might be a game-changing factor for some of you. You're not going to have a free domain though, as you will have your website name plus a .wix subdomain together. But my personal experience says that it's always better to have a premium plan, as it not only allows you to have more functions, but also deletes the visible ad that's usually popping out at the bottom of your website. Continuing this Squarespace and Wix comparison, there's another feature that's worth talking about, and that's the functionality of creating an e-commerce part of your website. So say you want to sell something online, and you want to be able to set everything up easily. Squarespace will definitely be the website builder to choose. In my personal opinion, it is going to be a much simpler website builder for that because for a few reasons. First, it's actually a process of just a few minutes to set up your store and then secondly, Squarespace offers just enough for you to make sure that your e-commerce side of your website looks attractive and functional. And that comes down to two factors. One, which is the template and makes everything look neat and then there's a whole bunch of functions which allows you to, for example, add custom forms, custom buttons, add related products and work on the SEO straight on the product page. By the way, I will speak a little more about SEO later in the video. Now, if we look at the Wix's e-commerce side, I cannot say that it is difficult to use as anyone with a little bit of experience and general knowledge in website building will still find it pretty easy to use. But Wix doesn't seem to have these functions that I just mentioned as Squarespace. All 
although Wix's e-commerce functions are not as good as Squarespace's, and I still personally find Squarespace to be better for e-commerce, and Wix doesn't have as much freedom for SEO as Squarespace has, which again, in my personal belief, is necessary. Although I'm not saying that you cannot rank with Wix, and I know many successful websites that are run on Wix, but all in all, Squarespace seems to have more and better functions for that, especially for someone who is not that SEO savvy. Now, speaking about the functions that both website builders have, let's quickly see their blogging sections. So both of these website builders offer pretty similar options for blogging, but I found Squarespace to have a better design for a blog section of your website, plus it is a little more intuitive and easy to use. Wix, on the other hand is also good but in my personal belief Squarespace is going to be better for most of you guys as it is better looking and easier to use. And so once you create a blog here you also have all necessary freedom to fully customize your blog, change fonts, change the size of the text, change the colors and more. So I enjoy that. Now Wix in that matter does offer functions like that and you can customize your blog here but these functions don't give you that much freedom as on Squarespace. So all in all if you're focused on making a blog on your website Squarespace is going to be a better option for you. If you're looking for a full written comparison of Squarespace and Wix I put a link down below or you can find it on our website mybestwebsitebuilder.com. Okay, so there are a few more things to talk about in the Squarespace versus Wix comparison. And so if we speak about the SEO tools, the search engine optimization, you might need to seriously consider getting either one of these website builders as they both offer pretty similar SEO options. After I've reviewed both of these website builders, I can say that I kind of like both. Wix and Squarespace, but it all comes down to personal preference here. They both offer an easy to understand interface for that, and there is no major difference here. I would really want to say that Wix may be a little more attractive for me personally here, but Squarespace is pretty much the same and you should be able to work on that without any major issues. So there are a few more things to talk about here and that's the question. So which is the better website builder? When it comes down to this question, it's quite difficult to determine which is better than the other because both of these website builders have their strengths and weaknesses. But here comes another important factor, which is the price. So straight off the bat, both of these website builders have pretty similar prices as their basic website plans go. However, with our special discount link that I've put down below in the description, you can get a discount which makes Squarespace's price better than Wix. But if we compare their basic prices, Wix is a little more expensive than Squarespace, just by a few dollars per month. The same goes for their e-commerce prices. So if you would decide to go for Wix's e-commerce plan, it will start at $23 per month and can go up to $49. As on the other side, Squarespace's e-commerce plans start at $26 and go up to $40 bucks per month. But there's another difference between these two builders is that you can have a custom plan arranged with Wix where they make a custom solution for your business and Squarespace doesn't offer such an option. However, all in all, I would say that Squarespace has a better price here especially after our discount that's below in the description. But we usually have special discounts down below and we should have one for Wix as well. So check it out now. Maybe there's a better discount at the time you're watching this video. So <laughs> the question still remains, which website builder is better? So I will put everything into a conclusion. Both Squarespace and Wix are fantastic and powerful website builders that offer a variety of tools, features and freedom to make a functional and good looking website. They both focus on making everything intuitive and easy to use, but I personally, after reviewing these two independently, still find Squarespace better. Simply said, it has fantastic templates which are, by the way, designer made, the interface is super intuitive, it has decent SEO and blogging tools, and in general, I find it to be a pretty attractive choice for both beginners and some someone who's more advanced and tech savvy. Wix on the other hand is also great and I love the fact that Wix allows you to create a free website and allows you to publish it. They offer tons of templates that are free and it has a pretty intuitive interface. And if you're going to choose the one for e-commerce, I find Squarespace to be a better option for that again. Hey, but if you want to try both of these website builders out, there are links in the description which you can use to register and try your trial out first. So this is going to be it for our Squarespace vs Wix review. Thanks for watching and if you found this video review helpful, please hit a like and subscribe so you won't miss out on the upcoming videos. And if you're hungry to learn more about this and other website builders, we have lots of written information on our website mybestwebsitebuilder.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.